Hi, uh, this video is about control circuit for forward and reverse motor. So, um, application of this uh, forward and reverse motor is uh, they are commonly used to open and close uh, doors and valves. They are also used on metal cutting machines uh, in fabricating workshop. Another common use is to drive the battery powered uh, fork clips. Uh, many application in textile industry and in robotics. Okay, uh, this shows the control circuit and power circuit of the forward and reverse motor. So if I start with the power circuit, first you need the circuit breaker or fuse protection. Um, then you need the overload protection. Uh, this is the contactor for the forward side. This is the contactor for the reverse side. So when the contactor operate of the forward side, motor will run in the forward direction. And uh, when the contactor for the reverse side operate, motor will run in the reverse direction. The direction will be changed uh, when you swap the phase. So if you can see here, the yellow phase uh, in the forward side, uh, when the forward contactor operate, it goes here. Uh, but during the reverse side, this yellow side applied to blue side, and blue side applied to yellow side. So that's the key to change the direction of the motor. So if you look at the control circuit here, and the first is the stop button. Uh, when the forward push button is pressed, uh, forward contactor coil operate and it will make sure the reverse contactor is closed and the overload protection is also not operated. So there is normally close contact of the reverse contactor and the overload protection. So that's how it work the forward contactor will operate. And this is the hold on contact of the forward side. So after press, bus, press button is released, the current keep flowing through this uh, hold on contact. Okay. Um, to when and uh, once uh, mod, when um, this stop button is pressed, it will break the circuit. And when the reverse button is pressed, uh, reverse contact coil will operate. And uh, is, at that time, it will make sure that um, forward uh, contactor is not operated, and the overload protection is uh, is okay. In that case, motor uh, reverse contactor will operate and motor will run in the reverse direction. Uh, this is the hold on contact during the reverse side. So uh, once the press button for the reverse is, op um, is um, open, in that case, on this reverse contactor contact, it will continue the power here and current will flow from here. And the motor will keep running in the reverse direction until somebody press the stop button. Okay, so hopefully uh, this will help you to understand forward and reverse control circuit for the motor. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel. And again, thanks. Bye.